All right, here we go. Our first semifinal of this PGF Season 5 playoffs. We are underway. Both men take a seat. Carlton in the black shorts. Creighton in the white. This is going to be a epic battle here. No pun intended, of course, with both of them coming from epic roll. But it really is. This is going to be an epic roll. Elijah has those sticky grips, man. He keeps that hand stuck to the Achilles of Nick Creighton. Yeah, Elijah took a break from jujitsu for a while and did rock climbing. So you figure that has to help his grips. Nick, of course, super good leg locker. Just We've seen that over and over this season. Incredible leg locks. And we know that that's definitely one of the stronger parts of Elijah's game, too. So I'm not surprised to see them both come out here and not even want to take the top position. Both of them want to try to make their entry into the legs from the bottom position. <clears throat> yeah, definitely we were, we were not expecting a wrestling battle here. No, definitely not. Neither guy really getting anything going so far, though. It's a battle for the inside position here. Both these guys want to pummel one of their feet at least to the inside so that they can use that butterfly hook to create a dilemma between the outside heel hook attack and the inside heel hook attack. We saw Nick do that so many times this season. Whereas typically Elijah's entries are more dynamic. They happen in a flash. He, he tricks you with his craftiness. Nick methodically, slowly pulls you into his game sets his grips and just advances into his spots. He also gives you that horns of a dilemma situation where he either mm -hmm. gives you the leg lock option or the possibly getting an anaconda option. It's kind of looking like the Elijah Fiedor match we had a couple days ago. And Elijah chooses, sorry, Nick chooses momentarily to come to the top quickly back into his guard. Four minutes of elapsed time here in this semifinal, the first semifinal of season five here at the PGF. QR codes on your screen available for you to support your athletes. Oh, look at this, Elijah almost sneaks to the back. If this makes it to EBI OT, who do you give the edge to, Brandon? It's hard for me to say. Uh, I don't know a lot about Nick's OT game. I do know that that's something that Elijah has struggled with in the past when he gets to overtime. But I also know that he's been...
putting a lot of work in on that hole in his, at least in his EBI OT game. I wouldn't even say it's a hole in his regular game, but if you're going to be in tournaments where you're going to go to EBI overtime, then you have to be really good at it. And I know that Elijah has been working pretty hard on correcting that. So it, I don't give an advantage to either guy, to be honest with you. And with that in mind, as we are just past the halfway point of this match, I'm curious uh, if the you know sense of urgency for either man will step up here to maybe try to avoid those unknown waters of EBI overtime. Elijah, one of the better grips that he's had so far. Nick comes to his feet, wants to change tactics. Maybe he thinks he can snipe Elijah out, but Elijah looking to set up his inversion game. He's so good from there. Yeah, EBIOT was the path uh, uh, towards victory for Reese Lefevre. Just put on a clinic in it. Elijah's just not able to get the grips that he wants. Now Elijah in top position, Creighton. Holding the head, keeping a collar tie on the back. And Elijah matches him with a grip of his own. Tried to make a sneaky move back towards the legs, but unable to do so. And look at that, oh, he pummeled that right foot to the inside. Did you guys see that? That was beautiful. And now Elijah's starting to gain some ground on Nick. Elijah sits in hard, looking for the leg. Nick aware once again. Three minutes remain here in regulation. Again, the winner of this match will take on the winner of Kamoy Anderson and Travis Thomas. Elijah Carlton out of 10th Planet Atlanta has his coach right there, Sean Alpagate, giving him instructions. Nick Crane's out of Adamas in Ohio. And that's another killer squad up there, Dante Leon and that crew. Dante is one of my favorite grapplers in the world to watch at any weight. Yeah, Crane, another one of those guys that uh, just moved his whole life. Uh, you know, Minnesota Maniac uh, was a member of 10th Planet St. Paul, uh, and then just a, a handful of months ago made the move to Ohio to be a part of the Domus team. Elijah looking for this reverse body lock. Nick explodes him out of there. Elijah pummels back, now controlling the head. Elijah back on the leg. Oh, out of nowhere. Just like that. Elijah Carlson getting the submission in regulation on his way to the PGF Season 5 playoff finale to make this one official. We go to Steven Aiken. And your winner, representing Epic Roll, moving on to the season five finale, Elijah Carlton. Elijah Carlton dispatches the Minnesota Maniac. Can I get to drink this one? Sure, all right. We talked to you first, I'll trade you that. <laughs> Steven Aiken, you get a chat with I'm the gonna trade Elijah one. this once upon a coconut water for a conversation. <laughs> He's such a made man, I gotta bring him gifts now to get his attention. Elijah, that was a big win, man. Uh, Nick's super tough. Uh, I know you had a lot of respect for him. I could tell the way that you were battling there that you had a lot of respect for his game. Uh, what do you wanna say about that? Nick's super good. Honored to have a match with him. Uh, shout out to my boy Chase Hanna, that's his move right there. Fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go, where's he going? Tournament he's, finale. He's going to the finals against the winner of Kamoy versus Travis. Yeah, wow. Nicely done for Elijah Carlton. Avoids EBI overtime. Gets the submission of Nick Creighton. Locking himself up a spot in that tournament finale. All right, one more semifinal to go here.